Hello and welcome to Vector Thoughts Plus. I'm Martin Perheniak. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the great new features of InDesign CC. I'm going to talk about the QR code generator. First of all, what is a QR code? It is short for quick response code, and it actually started off in the automotive industry, and now it became really popular, and you can find QR codes everywhere where you go, and they can serve for many different reasons. They can store almost anything, from text, URLs, emails, business card information, and they can be stylized or customized to match your design. So let me just show you, if you haven't seen a QR code before, quickly how to create one here in InDesign. I will go to the object menu and choose Generate QR Code. So that is the function. Once I select it, I can choose something like, let's say, Test, and it will be a, just a plain text, and I click on OK, and then I just have to have a layer selected which is not logged, and then I can click and drag to create the QR code. So you can already see that InDesign quickly created this QR code for us and we can always check the options by right clicking on it and choose edit QR code. So we can amend it. And these are the options we can assign to the QR code. But before I choose any of these I would like to also explain how the QR code works. The most common way of reading a QR code is using your uh, smartphone uh, with an application which can scan QR codes and scan and it will take you wherever this information is stored. If it's just text, then it, you will see the text. If it's a URL, then it will take you to that website and so on and so forth. If you want to learn more about QR codes, you can find a lot of information on the internet. I just want to show you one example. It shows it really well how can you turn a QR code into something very fancy, which can be an integral part of your whole design? Let me just show an example from my portfolio. So I did a poster for Mattel, and uh, this was the 2012 uh, poster for them. And um, here you can see that the QR code is actually really part of the whole design. The great thing about QR codes is that you can change the elements, these little blocks that made up the QR code. I mean, keep the contrast between the white and the dark details, but you can really play around with them. And even if 30% of the QR code is not visible or covered, like here in this case with this uh, track and the car, it will still work. So it is a very smart technology and you as a designer can really be creative by using these codes. And the way it is used, again, is a good example of what Hot Wheels and Mattel did. They used it with an app together so you can scan the, the QR code from the back of these products and check whether you have it in your collection or not. But let's go back to InDesign and I'm going to show you what else can we do. So if I right click on this QR code, I can go back again to edit it and I can start creating different information stored on this. So for example, I can choose web hyperlink. If I type in my uh, blog's address, as I'm a designer.com, I click on OK, then it will change immediately the way the QR code looks like. If I right click on it again, go back, I can also decide what colors I would like to use. So I can use a completely different color and then the QR code will use that color. I can go back again and change the URL. Instead of URL, I want the plain text or I can want a text message. Now in this case, whenever someone uh, scans this code, it can send a message to a set phone number. That is also a great way to connect with people buying your product, just like the other options here using email. It works the same way. You can set up the email address, the subject and the message, or you can also use a business card option where you can set all your details and whoever scans this uh, QR code will get all the details necessary from you. And I would like to just show you one more thing and that this QR code is completely editable. Once I copy and paste it into Illustrator, we will see that it's fully editable. So if I resize it, we can see all these little parts can be changed separately. So I can select 
these parts here and maybe change their color and if I keep them still in contrast to the background it won't make a difference the QR code will still work and that's all what I wanted to show you in this uh, video I hope you found this tutorial useful and if you want to know more about the other new features of InDesign CC make sure you check back on VectorTouch and look for other videos about the new features thanks a lot for your attention and see you next time